Here we are interested in regions in the complex plane of form magnitude z minus z naught equals r, where here z is a set of general complex numbers of form z equals x plus yj on the complex plane, z naught is a specific point on the complex plane, x naught plus y naught j, and r is a real number. So what does a region that of points that satisfy this look like? Let's find out by first of all writing that expression out in full a bit more. So we said that z was x plus yj, so x plus yj minus, and z naught was x naught plus y naught j, and we want the magnitude of that equal to r. Now the next thing we could do is just expand through by that negative sign, so that's minus x naught minus y naught j, and we want the magnitude of that expression equal to r. So by grouping together real and imaginary parts, x and x naught are real numbers because they do not include j. So let's put those together, so that's x minus x naught, and then y and y naught are multiplied by j, so let's write that as y minus y naught times j, and the magnitude of that whole expression is equal to r. And let's think about what the magnitude of a complex number generally of form x plus yj looks like. It will be the square root of the real part squared, which the real part here is x minus x naught, so square that, plus uh, the imaginary part squared, which here is y minus y naught squared. So all of that is equal to r. And we can now square both sides to find x minus x naught squared plus y minus y naught squared equals r squared. And that is actually the equation of a circle. And if we were just thinking in terms of real numbers, we would say that that circle was centred at x naught y naught. But here, in the complex plane, because the y coordinate is the imaginary part, that is the part multiplied by j, it's actually got centre x naught plus y naught j and radius r. So if we were to draw an approximate sketch of this on an argan diagram, I'm going to draw it, let's say there for instance, but it could be anywhere depending where our point z naught is obviously but x naught plus y naught j might be that centre of the circle for instance, and we would then have our circular region, and r would then represent the radius of that circle. So the, the set of points in a complex plane that satisfy magnitude of z minus z naught equals r is basically a circle with centre z naught, and radius r. So let's reinforce this by looking at a specific example. Plotting the set of points in the complex plane for which the magnitude of z minus 1 plus 2j equals 3. So again, if we were working through this in full, we could write z equals x plus yj. Substituting that into the above expression, we get the magnitude of x plus yj minus 1 plus 2j equals 3. We then group the real parts, which is x minus 1, and we group the imaginary parts, which is y plus 2, and the imaginary parts multiplied by j, and the magnitude of that expression is equal to 3. So then once again, magnitude is the square root of the real part, x minus 1 squared, plus the imaginary part, y plus 2 squared, and that's equal to 3. And squaring both sides gives us x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equal to 3 squared. So we can see that this one is a circle with centre 1 minus 2j, because again that y part is the imaginary part of the number, and radius 3. Draw a sketch of that, 
so setting it up in this case so here's our argand diagram again with the real part the imaginary part so having a look at this one along the real direction negative two in the direction of the imaginary axis so that is our center one minus two j there and so if it's got radius three it's going to extend about out to four here horizontally and in this direction it's going to extend to negative two while one minus two j radius three vertically below that point it will extend down to negative five which is negative five j and it will extend up in this direction to 1 which of course is J so therefore we will end up with the circle with this general appearance so once again you can see the required form centered at 1 minus 2 J and then the radius is equal to 3 since the set of points we started with here was of the form Z minus 1 plus 2 J equal to 3